I've gotten so many complaints from different women asking if their husband no longer loves them or if their husband is seeing somebody outside because the sort of affection he used to show them is no longer there. One even specifically said that my husband does not kiss me anymore. He is a lover boy. He loves to kiss me, he loves to express however he feels, but these days it's no longer that way. And after so many back and forth with this woman, I thought why not share because a lot of women are going through this also in their marriages. So we are just going to be diving straight into it. The very first reason why your husband might possibly not be kissing or showing affection towards you anymore is because of over familiarity. I'm very sure this is not the first time you're hearing that. I'm very sure you are very familiar with that word. In other words, it's called you don't see me finish. <laughs> Sometimes it's not like the love is no longer there or the affection is no longer there or he, he loves you any less but just because he is now gotten so used to seeing you around, you know, he's now so fond of you, um, see finish, don't enter. Sometimes they end up forgetting that this is the thing you actually love. You know, they forget that my wife loves being hugged from the back. My wife loves being kissed on the neck. My wife loves being pecked. You know, they sometimes forget these things because we are now, you're now so knitted together. You are now so close to each other that you don't, they don't see reasons why they should continue doing these things. We should know that familiarity actually breeds content. And the marriage when couples uh, end up getting too familiar with each other, they might end up forgetting, um, like I said earlier, end up forgetting what it what their partner likes or um, ignoring the wants or the, 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 the things that their partner actually enjoys. So most times over familiarity is one of the key reasons why it seems the affection is no longer there. The next reason why it may seem as though your husband is no longer showing you affection or kissing you as often as he should is as a result of lack of communication. I'm going to say this again and again and again like I've always said, communication is key in every form of relationship, be it talking stage, dating, courting, um, we are just friends, we are married, communication is key, okay, communication is very important. Most times in marriage when you do communicate your feelings towards yourself, it is pretty difficult to show up affection towards you your partner so one thing you need to bear in mind is that communication is the key to every successful marriage so if there is something bothering your husband and he's not able to let it out he's not able to tell you it's definitely going to affect the rate at which he shows you affection definitely going to affect the way he he dots around you he kisses, he kisses you he, he shows you know how much he feels about you if he is holding something in his chest that's why i say once there is an issue, once there is a problem, or once there is something bothering either of any of you, it is best to sit down and talk about it. Okay? Um, you can't expect someone that is that has so much in his mind in his chest to come and start looking for how to kiss you or how to, you know, show you <laughs> show you some sort of love and affection. Okay, so um, once you can talk about it, once you notice your husband is kind of far away from you, kind of showing, kind of pushing you away, it is better for you to call him close and let him talk about it, you know, look for a way to bring out those stress from him and make him see reasons why he needs to communicate and let you know exactly what is going on in his head, okay? So, talk about virtually everything, virtually everything in your relationship is really going to help you, it's really going to um, help with the growth in the relationship. The next reason why your husband probably stopped kissing you is because probably both of you has some sort of illness or sickness or something. Remember there was a time my husband was ill, I was ill for like two weeks, you know, there was no form of intimacy or some or kissing going on and it just brought my mind back to it that actually things like this bring rifts between couples okay and you need to be intentional about it so probably if you are ill or your husband is ill there could be some sort of friction in showing affection i feel you need to understand that it is just a face and when the sickness is over you're back to you know being the lovey dovey couple that you used to be this next reason is very very important because it is what so many couples are actually going through now pressure of daily stress it is not easy especially in the nigeria of today 
so many men come back very tired from work they wake up very early again and off they go i mean tell me where is the time to actually be intimate and show affection towards your partner tell me where is the time even some men have so much that they are thinking that they cannot even remember the last time they kissed their wife <laughs> so yes that can also contribute to the man not you know being able to show affection and also kiss you as much as you want when the man is thinking of the bills to pay the deadlines to meet the seminar he has to attend the meeting he has to attend our friends school fees um getting daily needs grocery shopping personal maintenance car maintenance you know there's so many on the list that is on his chest on his mind that he needs to attend to okay so it is very very easy for him to forget that i've not kissed my wife today <laughs> very very easy and it is not actually bad if you are the one that actually just initiates the kissing there's nothing wrong with that okay especially if this reason is one of the reason why such is happening so it is important that you're very sensitive and you're very intuitive to know what is going on around you to know the possible reasons let me tell you ladies everything is not cheating there are some things that are just running its course you know when it's really running its course everything go back to normal everything is not that my husband is cheating on me i don't know the last time he told me i love you if he did not tell you i love you tell him okay tell him most times the situation of the country the situation of where he is at the moment might actually be contributing to him not being able to show the sort of affection that you are looking for so if he, you feel that is the reason there's nothing bad in talking to him about it just like i said earlier communicating to him about it and everything will just move on pretty fine the next possible reason why your husband is no longer kissing you is probably as a result of him having some sort of low self-esteem okay and sometimes we as human beings or we as individuals we go out and we mingle with a whole lot of people out there you know and a whole lot of bad vibes are also out there sometimes you don't know the one they said to your man and and it already makes you feel like he's not enough or he's not man enough a friend of mine told me that her husband asked her her if she had body odor and i was like does your husband have body odor he said he doesn't have body odor because he noticed that that has actually made him refrain refrain itself from her it's as crazy sort of rift because of what he heard from other people um if thank god the man is someone that is communicative if he is not the type that communicates he might not be able to tell his wife this is actually what people think about me outside and i feel it's affecting my self-esteem and thinking having that thought about myself makes it very difficult for me to come close to you because i feel i am not enough for you okay so sometimes these men actually just are battling some sort of self-esteem maybe from mouth odor or baldness or or obesity or they're, they're battling one thing or the other you know that is bringing down their self-esteem and they feel they are not enough for you they are not enough to come to you you know and show some of the affection that they are supposed to show okay so it is important for you to actually like i said be sensitive towards your environment be sensitive towards these things and know what exactly is going on in order for you to know how to tackle it okay the next reason why your husband might not want to be kissing you anymore is as a result of boredom in the bedroom like everything is just the usual the usual daily routine each time you go in to do the do in the bedroom like it is it is it is the way it used to be no changes no nothing and the man is just bored okay so sometimes look for a way to spice things up raise it up a notch higher you know try to look for a way to make things more spicy between the both of you okay um boredom in the bedroom i don't know what to say about it because i mean he's your husband why are you doing as if you don't know what you are supposed to do you know why are you behaving like you know (laughs) <laughs> look for a way to spice this up i beg you know just give him give it to him the way he wants ah, change things up i don't know how else you want me to say it though okay over here we know the door savvy women we know how to take good care of our husband though i understand it's very very easy to lose the spice in your relationship if it's the relationship is getting very long like so many years into the relationship you know like you're already 
tired of doing the same 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 thing every year yes i understand and that is why i said try to spice things up it's really going to help you read books about it surf the net and ask questions you know i mean it is your man that we are talking about here it's not someone else so you know look for things to spice wait to spice things up and everything will be fine i really want to add to this point but i just feel let me just add this as a bonus if your husband starts showing affection towards you or he's not kissing you or handling you the way he used to handle you when he's so loved up with you if you notice a change or a shift there is a possible scenario that he's cheating on you yeah yes so yeah look into it if you have your if your intuition is telling you something or you're feeling having doubts about it or you're suspecting anything then there is something okay a woman's um gods are usually right most of the time so look into it that's just what i'm going to say okay just look into it but if it is not this particular one i mentioned if cheating is not it it is either as a result of one of these many things i just mentioned okay just look into it and look for a way to um find solutions to it if it's something you cannot work on on yourself look for a marriage counselor or a therapist and talk with or you go to people that you trust and you know are that are really going to help you out with the situation work on your relationship try and see if it's going to work out don't just pack out of it like that give it many more chances give it as much chances as you can you know try to make it work before you are you look for any drastic measures to go about it okay i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you pick the pin or two if you do please don't forget to like the video subscribe share this video with whosoever you feel is going to learn from this and also comment your thoughts let me know comment your thoughts what do you think if you are experiencing something like this how do you desire your your marriage if you've not revived your marriage yet are you going to be implementing any of this which one are you going to be implementing i, I want to read your comments i want you to you know communicate and gist about it in the comment section please don't forget to also like like i said earlier subscribe please subscribe help the community grow and thank you very much for always coming back i love you and i'll be seeing you in my very next video bye